Hey guys, remember the 90s? It's Spawn 300, and this is a, those are two covers. We'll talk about those in a second. Uh, my name's Chris Sarda. This is uh, Chaos and Comics. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, at Chaos and Comics. There'll be links down there. Um, man, Spawn is cool from the 90s, you know? I've, I've, uh, I knew this was coming, and so I, I started jumping back in around issue 290. Um, it, a little bit throwback, but it turned out the stories were actually pretty good that I maybe forgot. It even inspired me to buy some some back issues of Spawn. You know, if I find them for real cheap, I, I grabbed them. You know, so maybe maybe I'll start um, reliving. Maybe I thought that Spawn was a little bit too 90s and it was just my, my, uh, my mentality then. But what I've read is really cool. And number 300, let me tell you about number 300. First, let's talk about the covers. I got the Capullo cover. Um, to me, that's... I know Todd McFarlane is the classic artist on Spawn, but for me, Capullo is, that's who I really, really enjoyed. Uh, on, I loved, I like Todd McFarlane too, but that's who I really, really enjoyed on those early Spawns. So I, was, I just wanted to get this cover. It's pretty standard to me, standard work to me, um, but it's Capullo and it was Spawn. So I get those together and that's just more of a, a good feeling. And it's, I mean, even though I say it's standard work, it's still cool. This is the cover that blew me away as far as ones that you can get. I'm so excited that they did the Virgin covers um, in not a sucky uh, ratio variant method, um, at least, or you get at least some of them. But uh, this is the Jake Scott Campbell cover. It's really awesome. So Spawn 300 is better than Superman 1000, is better than Marvel Comics 1000, uh, is better than Detective Comics 1000, is better than Batman 50, is better than all of these super special books. Do you know why? Because the story continues in it. it is, even though there's a bunch of writers and a bunch of artists in it, it isn't just a bunch of, um, sm a big package of smaller than one shots. The story that's been happening continues in here and, and, uh, and retells some things that, that happened in earlier issues that you didn't absolutely need. You can go read number 300 alone. It's still readable that way. Um, and it also makes you want to read 301, not like Detective Comics 1000, spoiler alert, that really had one good story at the end and showed you it was Arkham Knight, and that arc ended up not being, it was cool, but it ended up not being that great. This is actual cool story, um, should, should grab you and make you want to read um, Spawn uh, from here on out, because they're actually telling some interesting, interesting stories. Um, you know, a bunch of different artists including uh, Capullo, uh, McFarlane, and the current artist, um, whose name is uh, Jason Sean Alexander. And Jason Sean Alexander is a very um, distinct, I call it a dead look. Um, you know, he's very painterly. I think it works with Spawn. Um, although in previous issues, sometimes like, oh, I didn't like that drawing. But overall, I think he really works with Spawn. And it was cool getting the throwback stuff, man. Um, Story-wise... Uh, you're, you get a lot of the stuff that's happening, um, that's been happening. Spawn has gone public. I thought that was cool. This is Spawn naked. This is who I am yelling at his like little, little homie there, his Alfred, I guess. Um, so, uh, you get the story that continues and, and you figure out what's happening, um, within the book. So I don't think you need to read the prior books, but Spawn's gone public. Uh, he's going against heaven and hell together and they're actually teaming up against him. And uh, a, a lot of old Spawn mythos is coming through. And, uh, you know, stuff I'm not that familiar with. To be honest, I stopped reading around the Redeemer time. So I'm not that familiar with them either. But they do a good job explaining it and setting up uh, for, for new stuff. So it's just awesome because it's really still the serial. It isn't some uh, BS special issue. It is, uh, it's taking the comic and the story seriously, uh, which I like which is why it uh, is a good grade for me and why I'm going to buy 301, 302 and, and continue on for a while. Thank you guys for watching Chaos and Comics at, well, Christopher Sarda at Chaos and Comics on Instagram and Twitter. See you later.